Then to improve this jig, first I will unscrew the piece that blocks the clamp fixed jaw against the back of the board. I remove the clamp. I remove the strip fence. And now I will remove the board. Then I have to put this board like this. And like this I lose all this height of cut. But now, because I have already cut the end of the board at a 45 degrees angle, I can turn the board like this. So now the top surface of the board reaches the top of the table saw. But now the edge of the board is to the right of the saw disc. So I have to move this back until the edge of the board is aligned with the edge of the base. So I unscrew the triangles. And I unstick them. But now the triangles won't settle on the base. So I have to scrape the rest of glue and varnish that are still attached to the edge of the triangles. Now this is the edge I have just scraped and it goes against the base. I have this corner here, but I don't have the corner in this part of the triangles. So I could put this clean edge against the base, but I need the corner here. Then this goes here, and I have to move it back. Like this I can align the edge of the board with the edge of the base. Then first I will screw the board to this triangle. I use the base as a stop block so the triangle don't move back. I drill guide holes and I screw the board to the triangle. The 45 degrees cut in the edge of the board must be aligned with the base of the triangle. And I screw the board to the other triangle. Now I put some glue in the base of the triangles. making sure I don't put glue in the edge of the board. And I stick the triangles to the base, making sure the edge of the board protrudes the edge of the base something like 1 or 2 millimeters. Well, I decided to center this on the base. I make sure it protrudes 1 or 2 millimeters, and I let the glue dry. And once the glue is dry, I can screw the base of the jig to the triangles. And now I should check if the board is at a perfect 45 degrees angle with the base. But I forgot to check it and I cut the front of the board. Now this is the strip fence, and I made that cut when I made the first version of this jig. So I finished cutting it. And now with the end of the strip slightly below the edge of the board, I insert one screw. Now I can use the square to put the strip at 90 degrees with the edge of the board. But despite when I made the first version of this jig, I could do this to put the strip at a perfect 90 degrees angle, we will see that in this case, later I have to relocate the strip. 
Now I drill the hole to install the clamp. I insert there the metallic bar of the clamp and now I realize that I cannot put the piece that lock the clamp jaw against the back of the board. The problem is that the new hole is below the hole I made in the first version of this jig, so now that piece is too high, so I made a new one. So I screw it. Like this, it will be easy to use the clamp to hold the work pieces I'll cut with this jig. And suddenly I remember I must check if the board is at a perfect 45 degrees angle with the base. And as expected, it is not at a perfect 45 degrees angle. So I unscrew those screws. And I insert there some pieces of thin veneer to set the position of the board. I insert the screws. And now the board is at a perfect 45 degrees angle. I must make sure the tip of the square is touching both the board and the base. And now, if I put here the square, it looks like the strip is in the right position. But if I put the square against the saw disc, I must make sure the teeth don't touch the square. We can see there is a separation in the bottom of the strip. Then I unscrew those screws. I relocate the strip. And I insert the screws but the screws enter in the same guide holes. So once again I relocate the strip, I drill a new guide hole, and I insert the screw. And I make sure it is perfect. I forgot to insert those screws. Now I put the edge of the workpiece against the strip fence and the head against the top of the table saw. I clamp it and I cut it. And I do the same to cut another workpiece. And luckily I have relocated the strip fence, so now the 45 degrees cut is at a perfect 90 degrees angle with the edge of the workpiece. So I will use some painter's tape to dry fit both pieces to see how this joint will look. And well, it looks like this joint will make a nice 90 degrees angle. Thanks for watching. Remember that in the description of this video you can find the link to watch how I made the first version of this jig. And you can also find all my woodworking videos in my channel in YouTube. And if you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel.